A question a lot of people have, especially for people who like to restore, remodel, especially those that take it all the way down to the frame and bring it back up, how do you know which camper is going to work? I mean, really, they're all going to work. It's just, are you going to put $10,000 in it and it's a $6,000 trailer? Now, if that's, if that's what you want to do and it's just for you, that's okay. That doesn't work for my business model. So what I have to do is have a little checklist in my head and go through the things that I think I'm going to need to make this camper work. Some campers are worth more, some are worth less. So the ones that are worth less have to have a whole lot more going for it than the ones that are worth more because I can get more at the end consumer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you on a walk around of this 1975 Roadrunner and kind of point out the things that I definitely look for when I'm going to rebuild a camper. The first thing I like to do when I get there is just do a quick visual inspection. Go around the outside because the things that are uh, that will really quickly run up the total of your bill are going to be windows. So I see this window looks great. This window looks great. This light looks good. Now, the exterior skin is gonna be the next thing I look at. I don't want a whole lot of dents, a whole lot of dings, but if I have to take them, I'm gonna take them and try to work on them. Again, that light is a little discolored, but uh, those are easy to find. Uh, looks like we've got um, 30 amp service already. So the last customer had replaced that, so that's great, that's good news. Uh, furnace, probably not gonna keep the furnace, but I'm definitely gonna keep this. I look at the wheels and tires. The wheels look in great shape. Tires have lots of tread. They look nearly brand new. So I think that's great. So, so far on this side, we're looking real good. Now, as I come around the front, same things I wanna look for. Well, we got uh, a window pane that's cracked. So I'll have to get that replaced. I gotta put that in the money ledger. Looks like we got a little ding right there, but overall, I mean, just look generally at the skin on this is real nice. A little bit down towards the bottom, but that's just normal. That happens with every camper down here. Okay, looks like the hitch is in great shape. No problems there. This guy I've already tried and he moves very smoothly. So that's a plus. It's got the chains, that's a plus. Frame on the front looks solid. Doesn't look like there's any damage whatsoever. As I come around this side, again, look at this door. This door is sweet. It's sweet, let's see. So it, it opens smoothly, it closes smoothly. That handle's in great shape. This window, window's looking good. The skin on the outside, again, Still looking good. Look up here. We've got a lot of lights to deal with, but the skin looks good. These lights look pretty new. Then we've got this back window, eyebrow over the top. Probably some leaking at some point for that uh, style to have in an eyebrow. Tail lights looking good. This light's probably okay, but those are easy to fix. Bumper's in great shape. Look at this. This is a brand new spare tire that gives a lot of people some uh some thoughts for safety now the last thing on the exterior really other than i'm looking at the frame underneath and it looks great everything is fine on the frame is i want to check the bearings i don't know not everybody's going to let you check the bearings but we're going to do it so you got to get the wheel off so be prepared for that uh this just pops off little bearing buddy but not a real bearing buddy and then this is your cotter pin so we got to get that cotter pin we've got to get that cotter pin out so that's out now we got to take a wrench and we've got to remove this nut right here we're going to take that nut off now we're good to look at the bearing so we're just going to pull this off like this Couple of things we're gonna inspect. We're gonna look right up here and make sure that it's not scarred, messed up, and it looks perfect condition. I wanna look on here. I wanna look at this bearing race. 
And what we want on here is smooth. No scratches, no problems, no dents, no dings. And that's exactly what we have right here. So this axle looks great, the spindle looks great, and the bearings look great. As we come in to the camper, we're gonna check the interior out. First thing I wanna look at is the door frame as I come in and just make sure that it's in great shape and it's in great shape. Come around here. Now this would be the front kitchen. It's, uh, it's had some work, but it's not anything that we're going to reuse probably at all. You can see here that someone has already tried to deconstruct. And so uh, there's just, and we're not going to reuse this paneling. A lot of people like paneling. I am not among those people. Closet area right here. I mean, it looks solid. And I think that's probably what the uh, last owner thought until they started tearing into it. And, and here's what they ran into. Rot. Rot. Mold. So it happens. You know, it, you know anything early 70s, 60s, 50s, it's going to happen. It just is. So once you tear into them, you know, it, it's hard to stop. Unfortunately, this customer stopped and said, this is not for me. So the whole back dinette is gone. We're going to have to rebuild everything, replace everything. Um, one thing that I really like to look for are original lights. Look at that. That light is sweet. Now, this original gas light, I'll probably... Uh, change it over to LED because I think these are so cool when you come in and see these. So I look at the roof. It doesn't matter because the sides are all coming off anyway. So uh, it looks like it's in good shape, but that doesn't matter because you can't take the sides off without taking the roof off. The last thing that I would check, and I'm not going to do it right now because I don't feel like crawling around on the floor, is to get under the camper and check the floor. The floor, I could tell while I was on the inside, you could see through it. They had used a MDF, and anytime that gets wet, that's the end of it. So I know that this is a total rebuild, 100%. I love the windows, I love the doors, I love the skin. I think uh, there's some a few reusable parts on the interior, but it's a 100% total rebuild. There's gonna be a lot of carpentry involved on this one. So that begs the question, is it worth it? Well, that depends. I think that um, finished, this is probably somewhere between a 6,500 and a 7,500 camper. Because it's really, uh, the things I'm going to keep are in great shape. And the work I'm going to do on the inside, I'm going to do a really good job. And I think it's just a desirable front kitchen camper. So saying that and knowing the condition that it's in, I don't think that uh, a rebuilder would probably pay any more than say 800 to 1250. 800 to 1250, I think that's a reasonable price for all of the work that it needs. I think the seller could feel good about that price and I think that I could feel good about that price to purchase this camper. So those are just some of the things that you've got to take into consideration. Have your calculator going on in your head when you're going to go out and purchase your camper.